Amazing. Well, we'll get started. Um, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon for this webinar on Karandani Botswana. Very excited to be using uh, their brand new presentation as well. So it's a new presentation and a new kind of design here, um, which is really exciting. Uh, moving into 2024, there's lots um, of new developments coming with Curran Downey. We've got lots of exciting news. Um, and yeah, we're really, really keen um, to see where this year takes us. Um, Kickstarting with this gorgeous new presentation. Um, so for those of you who don't know, uh, Curran Downey Botswana are they're, they're considered luxury safari pioneers. They've been um, operating in Botswana since uh, 1968. Um, so they're one of the oldest um, safari kind of suppliers um, in Botswana. Um, and they're really known for their exceptional circuit, um, which provides really incredible attention to detail across all their services. Um, the camps are stunning, um, but we're not all about kind of throwing more and more at you in terms of the bells and whistles in the lodge. The really key part of Curran Downey is it's all about the experience in their, um, in their destinations. Um, we've got in our presentation today, um, we will talk a bit about um, Curran Downey as a brand um, and kind of overview of a few things. And then we will deep dive into the properties as well. Um, and then have a little chat about rates and um, flights as well. So as a as a um an overview, this is the um where they have their, their properties. Um as you can see, we're in the kind of northern part of Botswana. For those of you who don't know, uh, this is kind of where a lot of the um the safari um the safari kind of takes place in Botswana is in this northern region. Um and what's nice is you've then got access via Kasani. Um we can fly guests um, into into our Delta camps direct from Kasani um, or of course through the main hub in Maun. Um, Kasani is great for those guests who have come from say Vic Falls um, or Livingston. Um, you can see here we've got our two um, uh, two properties on the Shindy concession, Shindy and Shindy footsteps up in the north of the Delta. Um, we've then got a Kuti um, over here in the Maremi uh, in the Maremi game reserve. We've got Kanana down in the south um, and then we've also got Danaka down here on the edge of the Central Kalahari Game Reserve. Uh, so this is actually a private conservancy on the edge of the reserve. So Karandani as a, as a brand, as a whole, um, as I said, is, um, is one of the oldest safari brands in, in Botswana. Uh, they've been operating for over 50 years um, and they are really well known for their you know, incredible service, really um, great consistency across all the camps when it comes to the service, the guiding, um, and they are in exceptional locations um, because they kind of got in here first. Um, we've got the, some of the most amazing concessions in Botswana. Um, and that's kind of a really key thing. You know that um, Curran Downey is not going to kind of open a camp or build a camp or acquire a camp unless it's in um, a really exceptional location. So you know across the board that each location is really unique. Um, we have a mixture of private concessions, um, uh, game reserve and conservancy. So you kind of get a little idea um, of the different topographies as well. Uh, we've got Shindy and Shindy footsteps in the one concession. They're on kind of opposite sides of the concession. Um, you've got Shindy, which is about a 10 minute drive from the airstrip. And then you've got Shindy footsteps, which is about It'd be about an hour and a half drive from the um, from the airstrip. Um, we've then got Kanana Camp, which is also in a private concession. Um, Maremi uh, Akuti is in the Maremi Game Reserve. So when it comes to activities here, it is a little more more restrictive in terms of you can you can um, boat and you can game drive here. Um, but this um, area, the Maremi Game Reserve, has been a protected area for I think about fifty years as well. So it is um, it's an incredible. Um, uh, got an incredible density of wildlife, um, amazing topography. If you really use the the game reserve well and head out in different in different directions each day, you can see completely different areas and feel like you're in a completely new place. Um, and we've then got Danaka down in our private conservancy, and and this just means that that land is is owned wholly by Curran Downey, um, and so there's a lot of freedom that we can do there. That conservancy has grown since Curran Downey took it on in 2017. Uh, we have they have added on land of about 20, 20 acres more, uh, sorry, 20 hectares more um, than what it originally was, which is amazing. 
Um, and this um, this photo in the next video kind of give you an idea of those um, of the kind of uh, different topographies um, and why a circuit with Kerndani works so well. Here you've got that incredible um, kind of dry landscape of the of the central Kalahari, um, where the animals kind of have to work a little bit harder. You, the lions there are bigger. All the animals seem bigger there. Um, and then you have the delta where it's this just lush landscape where you think, God, these animals have such a cruisy life. They they have this, this amazing wetland um, where you've got an abundance of water, incredible plains game, and of course, uh, those incredible um, predator sightings as well. So when you look at the activities across the board um, with the Kurandani circuit, you have a real breadth of activities. Um, of course, we've got the land based experiences in the, in the um, game drives and night drives in those private concessions, um, as well as walking safaris in the private concessions um, out on the water. All of our um, all of our Delta uh, camps can do year round um, water activities. So um, that is boat cruises, um, Makoro in those private concessions, and also fishing in the private concessions. Um, at Kanana, we've got a heronry. Um, if you're not a birder, uh, you will be made one at the heronry. Uh, it's an incredible, um, it's one of the largest in Southern Africa, um, and it's an amazing breeding site for, um, for pinkback pelicans uh, and lots of other species as well. Um, we have a really amazing cultural experience down at Danaka, um, at which I think really, I mean, Danaka is one of my favorite, favorite places, but I think really um, kind of qualifies it for being um, being twinned with the Delta. Um, you've got uh, the educational walk with the Sam Bushman guides, and these guys are, are Karadani guides. It is not a performative kind of um, uh, 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 educational walk. It is purely... Um, it's like a, a, a bush walk, really, um, but they're showcasing the bush in a from a completely different perspective, from that bushman perspective, from that kind of survival perspective, um, and it's really, really interesting and an amazing thing to do as a family, I think, in particular. Um, we also have our family safari, so our young explorers um, package can be added on to any um, any itinerary with Kurandani, um, and that involves um, having a private guide, one of our private specialist guides, um, who uh, guides the family throughout their stay, um, and you have that incredible consistency. Um, kids get a kind of um, um, they get a t-shirt and a young explorers pack um, with uh, with that package um, and then also uh, lots of different activities that are sort of added on and little extra activities um, which are kind of uh, tailored to different age groups. We work a lot with uh, Helicopter Horizons who offer incredible helicopter scenic flights. Um, we also offer um, a helicopter transfer uh, to Shindy Footsteps now as well. So uh, when guests arrive at the Shindy Airstrip, they can be transferred by helicopter straight into the camp, which is um, a much quicker way of getting there um, and obviously absolutely stunning. And um, the photography side of things, I mean, we've just literally, people might have seen it on our Instagram, um, that all of our guides um, have regular photography training. Um, and that is so that they first of all, um, are, have, have incredible um, photography skills, which is fantastic, um, but also understand um, a photographer's point of view when they're on safari. So they know where to angle the vehicle, they know when the light's perfect, um, and they know um, kind of everything that a photographer will want when they're on safari. So it really comes back to um, ensuring that the guest has that amazing experience um, with their guide. Um, we do as well at Danaka have a bunker and a hide, um, which offer, you know, shots like this lion, um, your kind of eye to eye with the game there, which is absolutely amazing. Um, of course, as I said, we've got the helicopter horizons um, that we work really closely with. Um, adding on a helicopter scenic flight at somewhere like Shindi or Kanana is just absolutely incredible. Um, it is a, an amazing way um, to kind of see the delta from a completely different angle um and and with the doors off it's so exhilarating um this is our, our absolutely iconic shot but we have amazing game sightings in those private concessions um that have been kind of under the Kurandani um kind of brand for for many many years so they have been areas that have been protected by Kurandani for for a, a really amazing length of time um, our vehicle policy is unique. Um, we have four people maximum per vehicle. Um, as you can see here, um, we can fit six. So there is a third seat in the middle. So for groups um, of kind of more 
you are very welcome to all be in the one vehicle. We can also have someone sat down in the front here as well um, with the guide. Um, everybody gets a window seat. Um, so this means that most families, if you're a family of four or more, you will have a private vehicle automatically um, included in the package. So um, that kind of hopefully frees up budget if those guests were already considering booking a private vehicle, they can then put that that budget towards, say, a Young Explorers package and have that, that kind of extra level um, of their safari. We have the camera mounts um, next to each seat. Um, these move up and down. They're very soft and squishy, so they're also really comfortable armrests as well. Um, and also we can remove the... Um, uh, uh, remove the roofs on all of the of the, of the vehicles. Um, it, they're often on during those really, really hot months. Um, but in those winter months, um, we can pull those back, um, and which is also really incredible for those night drives as well. Um, of course, I've touched on the family as far as a little bit. We have a minimum age of seven. Um, and um, family activities are kind of included anyway. So kids kids will be looked after really, really well um, on a current downy safari. The, um, we have reduced child rates, of course, as I said, the vehicle policy really, um, really works so well for families. Um, but having that Young Explorers package added on, um, it kind of changed uh, with, the, with the 2024 rates. Um, adding on the family package is hopefully much, much easier now. You have a, um, you, you put together your package yourself with the kind of um, the rate structure of the kind of percentage off, depending on how many nights you book. And you just add on a Young Explorers package as a kind of bolt on to that main um, uh, to that to that main package. So with that, you have a private guide, which um, it was really amazing. Actually, Anita last year took out her family um, in March last year, and they had the most incredible trip between Shindi and Danaka, um, and they took a private specialist guide with them. Um, and just having that consistency, particularly across the two destinations, was really nice for them. Um, just kind of having your guide being able to kind of refer back to things um, and speak in a way that, that kids really understand is, is so special and really, really helps um, to kind of create that rapport. Um, and then moving on to a little bit about our camps. So we have got the heritage camps and then we've now got the footsteps brand. Um, so the heritage camps are the camps that many of you will probably know um, and love already. So we've got Shindi, Kanana, Akuti and Danaka. Um, these are the, um, the original camps. They are the, um, the kind of luxury main camps. We then have our footsteps brand and um, many people will know um, footsteps camp as it was previously. This was rebuilt last year. Um, and in its new iteration, um, we have the ability to kind of um, expand that brand across into our other private concessions. So the new Shindy Footsteps, as it's called, um, is still a beautiful, small, intimate camp. Um, it's uh, it, it's difference between the heritage and the footsteps brand is that intimacy you have maximum eight people in this camp at any one time and uh, we've got a smaller team who um you know really look after you um, and you've got that kind of feeling of being a little bit kind of back to nature here with still all the comforts um and the things you know the things you you love and you want um when you're away from home um we have the ability um uh, to now uh expand that brand and so hopefully Kanana footsteps and Danaka footsteps will be coming very soon um, and so stay tuned um, we will of course and so will the Karandani team be updating you guys um, as and when um, we have more plans for those that we are allowed to talk about um, so this is just a quick look at one of those rooms we'll deep dive into the camps in a minute but um, what's really lovely I think about a Karandani room is there is nothing in here that you will not use um, there is you know it's Every, every comfort that you possibly need, um, nothing more, nothing less. Um, you don't, we, we aren't a brand that is all about the bells and whistles. And I think that also uh, reflects itself in, in the rate um, for a five-star brand. The rate comes in at a really nice, uh, a nice price. Um, and that is because everything is about being out, out of the room. You don't want to be in your room. You want to be out of the room. You want to be out in those incredible uh, private concessions, in the incredible game reserves with your guides. Um, the, the staff is amazing, incredible food. Um, and so they are beautiful and simply designed rooms. Um, and you know you're in a Karandani room. Um, when you go from, say, Kanana to Shindi or Shindi to Danaka, um, the rooms look like a Karandani room. They are just to have that slight, you know, slight elements um, of their surroundings um, in the interior design. And then we have the Footsteps brand where you feel 
a lot of the time, like you're much more down in the sand. You feel like you're really within the delta here at Shindi Footsteps. And that kind of vibe will be emulated throughout Danaka Footsteps and Kanana Footsteps as well. Um, we know that that kind of all safari brands really talk about the people, but really the the uh, people at Karandani, and we all know that the, the people are what makes a safari. People go on safari thinking they're going for the wildlife and the luxury camps, and they come away realizing that it was the people that really made an impact. Um, they are the absolute heart and soul of, of Karandani and of the brand. Um, they have amazing staff retention. I mean, we've got, uh, for example, Mr. B at Shindy, who's been there, I think, since Shindy began. Um, if you want to know anything about Shindy over the years, you go to Mr. B, he knows it all. Um, we've got uh, over 70% of the senior management is female. Um, our MD, um, up until recently, was female as well, Fran Hurd. Um, many of you will have received our bush, bush brief that went out in the last couple of days um, announcing her departure from Karen Downey. Um, we have absolutely loved working with her um, over the last few years and um, and she has been with Karen Downey and she's been a huge part of the brand for the last 12 years. Um, and so we're really excited to see what she does next, but very sad not to be working with her on a day to day basis. Um, but that being said, still, um, you know, pretty much most of our marketing team is women. Um, nearly the entire um, reservations team is is female and much of the management team in camp um, is female as well. So we have a really um, amazing mix there um, and an incredible staff retention. Um, and you see these smiling faces um, throughout your stay and and anyone who is, who's been on safari knows what a huge, huge impact the people make. Um, when you're out here. Um, we have a, a really uh, amazing focus on walking safaris. Uh, many of you, if you know the Old Footsteps brand, you will know that it was previously um, only, you know, really mainly a walking safari camp. Our walking safaris can be done from any of our camps um, in, in the private concessions or conservancies. Um, and that um, is either, you know, guests can go out um, as, a, as a standard activity and head out for a walk for an hour or two, or we can we also have our specialist walking guides um, and this really uh, means you can have complete flexibility and a dedicated activity um, for just uh, for just those guests um, we can do walks between for example between shindy and shindy footsteps you can walk to the sleep out deck or back at Kanana and Danaka um, and of course um, we've got the educational walk with the Bushman guides so there's the options for much longer much bigger um walks uh, and people who really want to focus on walking um another one of those add-ons within our rates is the specialist walking guide so heading back to the camps um so just a quick look again at this at this uh, map here um so most of our camps are in the okavango delta we've got shindy and shindy footsteps akuti and the Murami, and then kanana down um down south there um, in its private concession as well um all really easy access from mound but we can also do those flights in from kasani as well um so starting at shindy so Shindy was rebuilt actually in 2020. Um, this is the kind of, um, we, you could call it the kind of flagship camp of Curran Downey, but it's their kind of most iconic camp. Many people know Shindy um, in, in, in many of its different iterations over the years. Um, the latest Shindy, uh, which was rebuilt in 2020, uh, is this beautiful treehouse star camp um, up in the north there. We've got an amazing um kind of mix of topographies here and this photo here actually really showcases that you can see you've got the water right in front of camp you speak to anyone who's been with Karen Downey for a very long time um, and they will bet their life that the water is always here <laughs> um there this water is always in front of camp year round um it goes up and down a little bit but you can always boat from this jetty here and we set off on Makoros from over here as well and you can see the difference in topography between these three um, landscapes. You've got the kind of open savanna here, you've got the grassland, and then you've got the water. Um, and that makes for an amazing game experience um, and just an amazing breadth of activities to be done at Shindy year round. The new camp, um, or I don't know if I can call it new anymore, 2020 doesn't feel that long ago, but <laughs> um, the newer Shindy um, has that really lovely mix of the heritage with the new as well. Um, a, a lot of the old um, camp was used um, in the building of the new camp. The old decks you'll see are now in the bathrooms. Um, 
in the rooms um, and you've got all these many different levels and this beautiful kind of treehouse style um, main area so there's lots of places to chill out uh, it's sometimes a bit of a pull um, on that last day to leave or to go out on that final game drive when you want to just make the most of those beautiful sofas um, and you've got uh, views of that amazing water in front of camp as well dining is family style um, and and everyone dines together Guests are, of course, more than welcome to choose to dine privately. And also the team absolutely loves setting up private dining or amazing experiences for those guests who are celebrating something. So always, always let the res team know um, if guests are celebrating anything while they're in camp and the team love to make a big deal um, and to really look after them. We have a pool as well. Um, this is actually overlooking the water. Also, it's just set off slightly to the left of, uh, of the main area. Um, and you can sit here um, and cool off um, in those warmer months. Um, and then, as you can see, we um, the photo we looked at earlier of of, um, of the other room was Kanana, and this is these are the Shindi rooms. And you can see that similarity in the design. Um, everything is set up um, as you need it in the right place. Um, you know where everything is, especially if you've been to a, it, one of the Kurundani camps before. Um, and it's just this beautiful kind of real heritage style. In uh, all of our camps, we do have family rooms as well. Um, so you can see here the family, uh, the family tent. You have the, uh, the the second bedroom just interleading off of the main bedroom. This is very much a family tent. We don't sell this to kind of two couples or anything like that. It's a shared bathroom, and then you've got a, a twin room here, which we can add extra beds into um, the main bedroom if you've got families with slightly more children. Um, you can see here these bathrooms. Um, this is the uh, the decking from um, from the old chindi that they've reused um, in in these new bathrooms. And there is also an outdoor shower as well, which is so lovely. Um, and just an amazing spot there on the water. Um, you can head out on night drives. There's um, all the activities can be done here from Shindi. Um, the land and water based is year round entirely. Um, and we also have 100% solar conversion here. So um, that is um, throughout all of our camps, they are being sort of added onto solar as we go. And um, so when Shindi was rebuilt, it was put fully onto solar. Um, and uh, Wi Fi is obviously um, now a must, and that is in all the rooms at Shindi. Um, Shindy Enclave, um, I will chat about next because it uh, it makes sense. <laughs> um, Shindy Enclave is kind of within the main Shindy camp. Um, Enclave is this private main area, um, which is actually uh, in amongst the rooms. You wouldn't know it was there if you uh, if you weren't utilizing it or if you hadn't booked it. Um, but it is set fairly near the family room, actually. Um, and it is this private main deck area um, that guests can book uh, privately, uh, if, especially if they're a group, it works really nicely for a group. Um, and actually when you add it onto a group booking as well, the kind of per person cost of it um, is actually really not very much at all. Um, and it gives um, bigger groups a kind of private area to call their own. Um, they can dine here, they can hang out here during the day. It's privately staffed and it comes also with a private vehicle and guide as well, um, which really any group of four or more will have a private vehicle or two. Um, but it, it means that you have that complete privacy and kind of like that exclusive camp, but still within um, the main Shindy camp. Um, it's set overlooking that amazing grassland um, and guests here are, are you know, allowed, they're able to make use of the main area as well if they do want to. Um, and they just book uh, the rooms uh, at Shindy as they want. So this is another one of those within our rates you'll see um, in the add-ons, Shindy Enclave comes in as an add-on at a per group per night basis. Um, and so you book your rooms at Shindy and then you can bolt on Enclave as well. Um, then heading over to Shindy Footsteps. So we're staying in the same concession here. Uh, we're kind of sort of on the other side of the concession at Shindy Footsteps. Um, and this is the, the new camp as it has been rebuilt. Um, so you'll see here, anyone who knows the old Shindy, uh, uh, sorry, the old Footsteps will know that um, we had, it was very rustic kind of tented style. Um, and it was set back a little bit from the water here with the new style on those raised um, those raised platforms, we've been able to bring it closer to the water. Um, and the kind of difference here, somebody explained it as at Shindy, you're kind of overlooking the delta, you're raised up, you're overlooking the water um, and it's 
just absolutely stunning. Uh, Shindy footsteps, you feel like you're in the delta. Um, you're right down by that water. Um, we have, have those um, raised uh, platforms now closer um, and you really feel like you're part of the delta here. We've got our dining tent here. Um, and then this is the sort of main living area. And then we have the tents off to the side here. Um, so this is a look at the old, uh, old footsteps. So you can see here, we've got sort of slightly more permanent structures um, in the new footsteps. Um, and these are the new camps. We've got a, a, a family tent here as well uh, with two bedrooms and then a shared bathroom. Um, and it's just that real kind of intimate feeling. You know, you're having your sundowners down in the sand, but then you're sitting in a very comfortable dining area, um, which is completely open um, for dinner. Um, and it's just got that really nice kind of hybrid feel to it um, where you still have that kind of paired back luxury feel, um, but it is very much um, more comfortable. Um, as uh, I think I said, um, it is a maximum of eight people here. We have pillows for 10 people. Um, so if there is a group of 10, we can book a block a room at Shindy, at Main Shindy, um, so that we can have um, those extra two guests here. Um, it would be fantastic to take as an exclusive camp or as an exclusive um, for, um, for families, for example. Um, and you can see here those rooms right there next to the water. Um, and if the water comes up any higher, um, you're very much safer <laughs> um, when you're raised up a little bit more there. Um, so yeah, the, the it was rebuilt, um, reopened in June last year. Anyone who's been able to get down there since it's been rebuilt um, has had just incredible glowing reviews. Um, I think there was some apprehension about um, making it slightly more polished than the original footsteps, but it has really, um, it's really kept that kind of simple um, paired back kind of feeling to it. It's just ever so slightly more elevated. Um, you access here via the Shindy airstrip, and then we can either do helicopter transfer, or it's a really lovely drive. It's like a sort of hour, hour or so drive, depending on how much you stop. Um, and it's a really lovely to get become acquainted with the concession that way as well. Um, and you're traversing a very different part of the concession. So Shindy and Shindy Footsteps guests really will rarely come across one another unless they're at the airstrip. Heading on now to Akuti. So I'm going to quickly gloss over Akuti because we've got exciting news coming out of there um, at the moment. Um, we are having a, uh, an extensive refurb done there, um, which will be completed at the end of March. So we're really excited for that. Uh, but Akuti really, um, I'll touch on the activities more so. Um, it really is kind of how I would view that kind of iconic delta, those big wide channels, those, you know, uh, big waterways, beautiful big lagoons. Um, and the boating here is incredible year round. It never, even when um, the flood has kind of receded, it um, it still feels very, very kind of water heavy here. Uh, the boating's beautiful, heading out in the afternoon and having a, a sundowner on the lagoon is just stunning. Uh, the style of the camp will be kept very similar in terms of the exterior. Um, it's kind of, um, the actual design um, is, is very similar to that of the Botswana Parliament buildings. Uh, and that's kind of the inspiration of the design there. Um, and the interiors will be, will, will be spruced up. So I will flick Flick on through and we will be showing you new photos of Akuti very, very soon. We're really excited for that. Um, so it is a, a very intimate camp. It's very cool, unique architecture. And I think what's amazing about Akuti is that it feels like that really lovely kind of soft landing point for guests just arriving in the Delta. I think it's a great first stop um, to really get out on those game drives, see the, see the incredible game that's in this area, um, head out on, on the boats and have that real iconic Delta, um, Delta experience. And then maybe head on to one of the private concessions afterwards um, and have have, um, have those experiences in the walking and the Mokoro um, and those more kind of intimate um, experiences, um, you know, down in, in the Delta as well. Now heading on um, to Kanana. So Kanana is further south in the Delta um, and Kanana is a really interesting camp actually. I've, I found it really interesting um, to learn more about Kanana over the last few years working with Karen Downey. Um, here you can do all of the activities as well. Um, you can do land and water based year round. Um, you've got this beautiful main area situated around this fig tree uh, where actually there was um, uh, lions um, stashed their babies here during COVID um, when the camp was quiet, which was very, very cool. Um, and that kind of 
period of time where we had those lions very close to camp has own, has kind of set the scene for Kanana over the last few years. We've had the most amazing predator sightings here um, and it really turns it on. Um, and that I think is due in part to um, the water levels changing here. The water used to come right up to um right up to the main area um at kanana um and actually in the last few years it hasn't done so um and that is potentially due to kind of tectonic movement and things like that which i i'm not uh i'm not very sciencey so i won't try and explain it um but what that has done is it's meant that in the area surrounding camp, we've got really lush, fertile soil um, that has attracted a lot of plains game. And we now have amazing, amazing predator sightings really close to camp. And um, we've had, uh, I mean, when I was there last time, I think we saw three different kind of groups of lion within about a two kilometer radius of the camp, probably not even. Um, amazing leopard sightings. Um, when my colleague Orla was out there in um, in November, um, she said it was her favorite spot. They just, they had one night here and it was just, it, it really showcased uh, what Kanana is incredible for. Um, we've also got the heronry here at Kanana. Um, it's most active between July and November. Um, and you can access, uh, access the heronry by a boat. When those water levels go down a little bit, we can access it via Makoro and also by, by vehicle as well. Um, but this will make a birder of anyone. Um, it's an absolutely incredible hive of activity here. Um, of course, we've got the Makoros as well. It, I think Kanana is one of my favorite spots for Makoroing. It just has that real, um, I don't know, it's just, it, it feels very remote and these beautiful channels that you kind of have no idea where they're going next. Um, it's very, very beautiful. Um, pinkback pelicans um, nest at the heronry um, and then we've got plenty of other um, delta species as well and it is just just an amazing amazing spot for birders and non-birders alike. Um, we have our sleep out deck here at Kanana um, and as I think I said before with the walking you can actually walk to or from the sleep out deck as well which is a really nice way to kind of encompass the activity um, in the wider activities um, down here. Um, so guests have their rooms still made up for them in the main camp and they can come down and sleep out here. If they freak out and don't want to be out here any longer, their room is comfortably made up for them. Um, you have a guide who sort of camps a, a comfortable distance away um, and who you've got two-way radio with. Um, but it is it's one of my favorite experiences um sleep sleeping out and um, we've got a little um a little bathroom a little washroom up here um for guests as well um and it's just the most heavenly place to wake up um now this is also um bookable through our live availability as well so you can see if it's available what for when guests are staying um now heading on down to danaka now i have a real soft spot for danaka it is uh it is my favorite spot uh, out of all of the camps. And I think it's because it offers something so completely unique. And it's a really amazing um, addition to a Delta Safari. Uh, we're very lucky at Danaka. Um, the Conservancy, um, prior to um, Curran taking over the Conservancy, um, it was, um, they've had pump water holes here. And so they have an abundance of game here that rely on those pump water holes. Um, and so um, we continue to maintain those. Um, and it means that the season here actually corresponds with the best season in the Delta. So when it's really, really dry and all that water's, um, all that water's gone, particularly from these desert areas, we still have those permanent water holes. And so game just flocks down here. And, and a lot of the um, a lot of the game viewing at Danaka is done at water holes um, because that is where the game kind of, especially in those morning and evening sort of time time periods. And um, and I think that is the reason why I just love it here. I think it's just got such a unique, uh, a unique vibe. Um, again, beautiful camp. We've got our private pool, we've got our pool as well. Um, and it's all overlooking a water hole. So at the camp, you've got this beautiful water hole right in front. Um, when Orla was here back in November, they had a leopard come two nights in a row, come down to drink from the water hole, actually came up and drank from the, the pool as well. Um, I have to say, I was so envious when she was down here. Um, this is the only camp uh, of Curandani's that isn't tented. It's thatched, and that is because um, of the thermal value of the thatch. Um, it gets very hot here in um, in summer months, 
um, and then it gets very very cool at night in those winter months as well uh, that just kind of desert um the temperatures very fl uh, fluctuate obviously a lot um, again we've got our family room here um and that is the same across the board at all the camps um at Akuti we have two family rooms um, I think I failed to mention that um, and here we've also got our indoor and outdoor shower and there's what I love like, another thing I love about Danaka is that there are so many places to view this beautiful beautiful landscape from um and quite a lot of the time uh in in the delta um, and in the Kalahari you don't necessarily get that elevation um, and so it's really nice. We've got this um, this lookout deck, which is above the tree line. And so you can head up here. They quite often set sundowners um, up up here and you just get that incredible, incredible view. And it feels like you can almost see at uh, the curvature of the earth from up here. Um, it's an absolutely stunning location. We also have our sleep out deck here. I love the sleep out deck here because we don't have to have mosquito nets. Um, you're above the tree line um, and that mozzies here are very few and far between um and um so you sleep out here completely under the stars not covered and it is just absolutely exquisite it really is my my personal favorite place ever to wake up um and then we have our underground photographic bunker and also our hide both situated overlooking water holes the photographic opportunities here like this are amazing um, and so you know guests who are really keen photographers um can come down they can sit down here all day if they want to we can have lunch down here we can set up a morning or afternoon tea down here so they can literally be here all day if they if they would like um and what's really lovely about Danaka, i think i think is the difference in species so we do have big game like lion um also do have um leopard here as well um but also there's you know, kudu and oryx. Um, you can see brown hyena, um, honey badger. We've had honey badgers like playing outside the um, the main area in camp, um, which was just extraordinary. Um, as I mentioned earlier as well, we do have our sand bushman walk here at um, at Danaka, which is such a nice way to get um, an insight into the really historic culture of the sand bushman. Um, our sand bushman guides are their Kurundani guides. They wear Kurundani uniform um, and they showcase the bush in just a different way from how um, your safari guide will. Um, so talking about the different ways of hunting and the... Um, uh, and the different medicinal properties um, of different plants and things like that. And it is just such an interesting um, and insightful way to see the bush, especially when you've been on safari for maybe um, a good few days or so. Um, having that different perspective is, is really interesting. Um, I think I said earlier, the game here at Danaka, I mean, you see a lion in the Delta and then you see a lion at Danaka and it's, they are, they're big. You see like these female lions down here and you think, oh my God, it's bigger than one of the boys in the, in the Delta. Um, and it is just, um, it's really cool to kind of see how the game is, is adapted differently. Um, I'll stop going on about it now. Um, uh, Danaka is uh, wheelchair accessible. Um, I don't think I mentioned that before. We do have our room one is wheelchair accessible as well. It's all connected by these raised wooden walkways. Um, and what's really nice about that, uh, um, about the situation of the camp as well, is that you don't need to go out on, on game drives the whole time. You can be in camp watching that water hole and having some incredible photographic opportunities right there. Um, the green season here is absolutely stunning um, for birds, um, wildflowers. So those guests who who maybe aren't as in, you know into the big game, or maybe have have been off somewhere else prior to coming down here and just enjoying the incredible scenery and the amazing birding um, is really really nice. Um, so now chatting a bit more practically um, about rates. Um, so the rates will be changing for next year as well. So do look out for those. We are hoping to release them very, very soon. Um, getting those 2025 rates out ASAP. Um, we have our um, percentage discounts for this year is what they look like. Um, and that um, depends on the number of nights booked. Um, and you can, excuse me, <coughs> combine the camps however which way you like. Um, we have that long stay discount. You can add, um, you know, put together whichever package you wish, and then you can use the upgrades menu to 
kind of personalize the experience. So as we talked about, we've got the sleep out deck, we've got Shindy Enclave for those more private bookings. We have a private vehicle, though do remember that we have that four person um, per vehicle policy. So, so often a private vehicle is not required for a lot of people who otherwise might have been budgeting in their mind for that. Um, we've got our Young Explorers Specialist Family Guide, which is really lovely for those family bookings. Um, and then things like the walking guides um, and those helicopter scenic flights as well. Um, all of our bookings um, uh, give back to Balabalatatsi. So when you book a, um, a safari with Kerr and Downey, you know that you are giving back to uh, this amazing, um, amazing establishment in Mound um, who support at-risk children um, in 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 Mound City. Um, and it's an it, we've been supporting them for a long time, um, Karen Downey. Um, and actually at the moment they've got their um a new building that they're about to hopefully have handed over very, very soon. Um, that Karen Downey's been assisting with building um for the kids. So uh, it's a really amazing um initiative. Um, and then a quick look at flights. So all of our packages that that um percentage discount for the long stay rates um is applicable when you book with um, Safari Air. Um, so if you book all your all your internal transfers with Safari Air and Current Downey, then that long stay discount is applicable um, and they run an absolutely seamless, seamless service. I mean, what we, I always joke that when we do a, a group fam trip, you kind of don't have to ever think again, you kind of arrive and you're just sort of whisked off and everything happens um, and, it, and it feels like um, the fairies are sort of putting it together. It's quite incredible. But that is everything from me. I can see already that I've got a couple of questions in that Q&A. Um, so I'm hoping um, I can get to those now. Um, but if you do have questions, do pop them in the Q&A. Um, we obviously would love to hear from you. Um, between which camps do we offer helicopter? Sorry, thank you, Josh. Between which camps do you offer helicopter transfers? Now, um, we can do, we personally don't offer the helicopter transfers, it is helicopter horizons, um, and helicopter transfers can be done between the Delta camps. Um, you would not be able to helicopter into Akuti, I don't think. So between Shindi and um, Kanana, we can do that. Um, that would be booked through helicopter horizons, but the, the res team can obviously um, assist with all of that. Um, thank you, Christina. Um, how many beds can be added to the family tent? Family with two adults and four children, between ages nine and 15. We can add two extra beds into that family tent. It might be a little bit more of a squeeze, but two, two children, two extra children can be added into those, um, to those family tents. Yeah. Um, thank you. Those rates you shared earlier for 25, can I assume they were agent rates? So those were the rack rates, I do believe, I'll have to double check, that I showed you earlier. Um, they were not for 2025, they were the 2024 rates. The 2025 rates are not, um, they have not been um, released yet. We'll be releasing them very soon. But when I follow up, I will send through the 2024 rates in our agent kit link. Um, and then the 2025 ones you can look out for hopefully in the next week or so, fingers crossed. Um, thank you, Amelia. Yes, when I send the um, the uh, agent kit link out um, with things like rates, there will also be the image gallery in there as well. And you are welcome to use those images um, for the promotion of Karen Downey. So please do. Um, amazing. Thank you all. Thank you for bearing with my slightly stuffy voice um, and creaky throat. Um, I hope that has been helpful and insightful. Um, do please send through any questions you might have um, about Karen Downey. Um, Karen Downey will be at um, ITB next week, as will I, as well as a couple of our other clients. So do let us know if you are coming. We would love to see you. Um, we're, of course, heading to some other trade shows later this year as well. Um, so pop us a message. We'd obviously always love to see you in person and actually see your face because I don't see anyone's faces through this. Um, so, yeah, let me know. We'll be sending out a follow-up in the next couple of days with a recording of the webinar um, and hopefully everything you need to sell Karen Downey. But we're here on the other end of the phone should you need anything at all. Thank you very much and have a good rest of your afternoon.